Good morning. This is Haruka Yamashita from Planet Education. I'm also the host of College Knowledge Webinars. Today for my Facebook Live, I want to share with you something called the Princeton Review uh, College uh, Hopes and Worries Survey Report. I don't know if you've heard of it, but this is an annual survey that is conducted by the Princeton Review. Last year, 2020, uh, it was a survey done of over 10,000 students, 2,500 parents from 50 states and 100 countries about students and their parents, about their biggest hopes, their dreams, their worries related to college admissions and the financial aid process. Uh, it's, um, I'm going to provide a link to this survey uh, because it's really telling. Uh, some of the things that are highlights are uh, the biggest dream schools and no surprise, a lot of st students and parents have a lot of aspirational schools. Student picks, Stanford, Harvard, UCLA, MIT, NYU, and the parents' top picks were Stanford, Princeton, MIT, Harvard, NYU. The list goes on. What about the college process? Uh, how many schools did students apply to? Well, about 38% uh, said that they applied to between, they will apply to uh, five to eight colleges, and 29% said that they intended to apply to more than nine. I'll say that there is no magic number regarding the number of schools that a student applies to. Um, but it has to be a balanced list, right? It has to have some reach schools as well as high targets, targets, and likely schools. Most of my students start out with very, very uh, aggressive, uh, top-heavy schools. So it's a challenge uh, to find the schools that you really believe you like that are also um, more conservative. The toughest part of the admissions process, uh, people say that the top ones were taking the uh, standardized exams, SATs, ACTs, uh, APs. 30% said it was completing the application process and financial aid. 20% said it was waiting for the results. And 10% said that it was researching. Uh, uh, next was on college worries. What do you think was the biggest worry? Well, 81%, a resounding 81% said that the biggest concern was college costs. 81% said that they expected their college costs to be more than $50,000, $50,000. In fact, 35% said that they believed that they estimated that college would cost more than $100,000. Most interesting thing here in the survey is the, the evolution of what is the biggest worry. So back in 2006, when they started this survey, their biggest worry was um, we're not going to get into our top choice college, right? 14 years ago, that was about 34% of the survey results. Um, you know, and that's a legitimate concern. Between 2007 and 2012, the shift changed to uh, being, I won't be able to afford my top choice college. So that became the plurality, 32 to 39%, right? Because they won't have, they won't be able to go to their first choice college because they won't have enough funds or aid to afford their first choice college. And I, I actually believe that it is a legitimate concern that parents need to be realistic about. Uh, come April, you get your results from your different colleges. And I think that the worst possible situation is, you know, not worst, 
but one of the one of the most challenging situations is if your child gets into their dream school and then you've never done your homework and you realize at that moment that there's just no way you can afford this dream school for your child after you've been telling them you better study hard otherwise you're not going to get into college and and you see that the the shift occurred at 2007 to 2012 that's when there was the uh recession right so there was a, a market turning point at that point but there's a a third turning point and that was around 2013 the shift since 2013 was the level of debt so um in recent years uh the last eight years debt has become the biggest concern among respondents both parents and students and they're concerned that they're not able to handle the debt to pay for the degree so you can see this evolution right the first was they're not going to get into college the the second is i won't be able to afford the top choice college then the shift was to the level of debt this is now we're in this uh pandemic now and i believe there's going to be another shift and it is a reality check and i think a lot of families are going to be rethinking what they want to afford can afford in terms of college um, college is a huge decision for every student every family and when you're making your decisions you have to balance three things one is the academic fit uh, second is the the cultural fit and the third is the financial fit and actually financial fit should be the foundation because you have to start with your own budget you have to start with an understanding of how much you can afford and uh, what you are willing to uh, contribute what you can contribute and what kind of debt you're willing to bear or uh, willing to get your parents uh, to, 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 to have your, your children bear and these days the the financial aid package is not just for student debt there's even some things called parent loans and it is more you know the burdens are becoming greater and greater for the families so how do you deal with all of this uh, I have put together college knowledge webinars for my families because financial aid and under financial literacy for college is just so important and this series i'm calling it a master class because parents and students have to be very serious about uh, understanding all of these elements so uh, let me tell you what the titles are for these uh, eight webinars the first one is building your best fit college list uh, uh, webinar 106 is the hidden costs of college attendance uh, 107 is five tips for net price calculators 108 is scholarships and merit aid money 110 is about FAFSA and expected family contribution EFC which is the number one most important number that is used to determine financial aid for college uh, webinar 111 is called the CSS profile which is the other financial aid form 112 is about student loan debt and risk mitigation uh, 113 is about early decision and early action all right does, does that sound helpful to you if you believe that financial literacy is important before you embark on you know the whole college admissions journey and having to pay for all of this I mean, college is extremely important and college is extremely important and it is um at the same time very expensive so families need to understand how much they're going to be paying for whether they are um talking about in-state schools or out-of-state schools or private schools in, in particular i mean these are these are um costs that go um, uh, as high as private schools cost as much as seventy seventy five thousand dollars a year per student so if you would like uh, to uh, take a look at these college knowledge webinars I encourage you to take a look at the 
website, Plan It Education with hyphens in it. I'll have my link below. And I've just uploaded some new flyers to show you how you can get your master class with eight webinars in it. These are video, these are webinars on demand. So at your convenience, at the comfort and safety of your own home. Uh, I've had parents come and tell me they've started binge watching on some of my webinars. So I think it will help you. It'll help you to become more educated and inspired and motivated and helpful as a family as you make these really important college admissions decisions. Thank you. Bye-bye.